All right, fam. Here we are the next morning, and after dehydrating all night, uh, let's see the results of what my um, dehydrated limes look like. See, they're good. See, they're like chips. See, kind of like that. They're dehydrated. Now, only thing, the next thing you do now is just put them in. Um, you can put them in a Ziploc bag, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, now that I have have them in, <clears throat> in a quart bag, I'll just zip it, you know, and label it. Turn this over. Label it, you know, uh, you can date it if you like, and put it up, you know, kind of squeeze the air out a little bit. And then, um, well, you can vacuum seal them, and that'll be fine too. But um, once you get all that done, you, you have, and you're just going to use one, one per day, you know, so count how many wedges I mean how many slices you have and that's that will be your um, <clears throat> daily supply of your um, dehydrated uh, lime lemons or oranges or whatever you dehydrate and this you know and it, and it works like that with oranges too you can have your hot orange juice and all that kind of stuff but um, that this is how I do it on dehydration oh, <clears throat> oh and by the way I was told in, in some of my comments when I posted the other day about the uh, making the tea and everything, they were saying not to use, uh, kind of stay away from the microwave. Uh, I didn't know that, so I, now I know. <laughs> and this kind of boil the water, you know, and steep your, steep your, um, boil the water and steep your, um, your um, rings in, you know, your slices in that. And then I guess you could pour your mixture and stuff in afterwards. All right. See you later.